awesome for just working the underside of your ab while you're getting the top at the same time. Usually in side planks, you're mainly focusing on just the bottom side of the plank. This time, you're gonna hit both. So this is what it looks like in real time. Okay, break down time. So you're up in side plank, which is you're on your elbow, and your feet are either on top of each other. There's three different modifications. Either your feet are directly on top of each other like this, or one foot is directly in front of the other for a wider base, or take this top leg, bring it over, and foot kind of flat on the floor. Okay, then you're gonna take this top arm, put it behind your head, and all you do is take the elbow, crunch it to the fist. Take the elbow, crunch it to the fist, and then return to the position. So, if you're doing the modification, it looks like this, here, here, and you just crunch it, Again, really contracting those abs when you crunch over. Now, a lot of you will also feel it in your shoulder. It's because your shoulder is doing all the work um, in helping to hold your upper body up. So your core is keeping your whole body nice and tight and straight, but your shoulder has the brunt of the weight. So that's why if you also feel weak in your shoulder, widen the base with the two feet right in front of one front of the other, or bring the leg in front until your shoulder strength gets greater. So those are your side plank 